Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. It is your girl Julia, and today we have a very special day because we are attending the Jamaica Festival. Now, right here, like I said, it's on Jamaica Avenue. You can take the E, the J, or the Z train to Jamaica Ave. And let's have some fun and let's eat some food and we're gonna review it. All right, so I want to give you a little bit of background information on the Jamaica Festival. So Jamaica Festival, also known as Jams Festival, is a festival where people can come and celebrate with music and different cultural foods. This festival starts on Parsons Boulevard and ends on 169th Street on Jamaica Avenue. Now, this festival was created in 1996 as a way to show off Jamaica's commercial district and introduce performing artists from Southeast Queens. The article where I got my information from is called the New York Post. This article was posted on August 5th, 2009. And now we both know a lot of things have changed from 2009 to 2023, such as the amount of people that show up to this event. In 2009, it was stated that around 150,000 people showed up to the event. In 2023, I do not have a number, but I would say maybe around 300,000 people showed up. Another thing that has changed is the amount of vendors that show up to this event. In 2009, there were only 200 vendors that showed up. In 2023, I would say maybe around 400 vendors showed up. And that is also including with music and different food from soul food to funnel cake and Twinkies and also different things for clothing and beads and action figures that you can choose from. So there are way more options to have for vendors. All right, so we have the funnel cake. Like I said before, this was $8. So let's, get a, let's do a little taste test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are she sending it to Cousins? Which one? Lager? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. How is it? It's really good. Um, I always love funnel cake. Uh, I definitely say I probably had better funnel cake. But overall, it's pretty good for a funnel cake. Uh, I would give it a, a 8.5 out of 10. I mean, my Keith Lee era. My Keith Lee era, yep. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here is a video of some of the examples I was talking about for vendors. People are selling bucket hats, they are selling makeup, they are selling toys, waistbands, waist beads, anything that you can imagine. Clothes, and that's just the difference from 2009 to 2023. In 2009, it probably just would have been food, but now you have different options also from like oil and clothing. Coconuts, Jiro, we have a lot of new things here. So let's see what we're gonna try next. Now right here is a good example of the Jamaica Festival or Jams Festival, kind of in its prime. There are thousands of people here just looking around to eat and shop. You also have a bunch of vendors that are kind of backed up on each other. They have candy apples, they have boba tea, they have people that help you get your hair braided, just everything and it's just a great experience. Alright, so now we have some complimentary Dr. Pepper from the Dr. Pepper stand. So we're gonna try it. I believe it's strawberry. Actually, I think this is regular because I don't taste anything different from the regular Dr. Pepper. But overall, 10 out of 10 because I love me some Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right, so right now we are at this nice truck right here and we have gotten a drink. This cup right here is $20. They have different cups that vary from $15 to $25. So right now we have pink lemonade, so let's give it a try. It's 
a lot of ice. I think this is a pina colada. It tastes like milky. I think out of 10, I would probably give it a maybe a seven or six. I don't know. I'm not really liking it too much. But overall, I think I would drink it again, probably not get it again. All right, let's go into the next food. Now here is my beautiful mother standing with the T-Mobile line to spin the wheel to I what I thought was to win a prize, but it's just kind of like information. But what was really funny was she had to spin it like three times before she got something. And after she spent three times, she was able to get some information on how to get like one of those kitty smart watches. So it was really cool and fun. <laughs> All right, so right here, I just wanted to show the difference between my mom's Lisa Simpson and the actual Lisa Simpson. She got the Lisa Simpson last year at the festival. And just look at the differences. It's so insane. So... We just got the corn. This is what it looks like. I got just salt and butter because I'm plain and basic. So let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Probably the best thing I've had all day. 10 out of 10. It's hot. It's good. It's just uh, bright enough about butter and good enough salt. It's really good. I love it. 10 out of 10. So this is the one my mom got. This is also butter, salt, and she got cheese on it. So she let me try her. So let's try it. It is good. I just feel like the cheese is doing too much. Like, there's just too much going on. Thinking, I would give this like an 8 out of 10. Good, but I think the cheese is doing a little So this is the last thing we got. This is from that soul food stand we saw. This is fried chicken with macaroni. Now, they gave you the option to do two sides, but I didn't really see any other sides besides mac and cheese that I really would have enjoyed. And I did want the rice and beans, but they did not have that. So they just told me I can get two mac and cheeses for like as two sides. So let's try it. It's good. Um, nothing really spectacular about it. Would definitely like prefer a little bit more cheese. But besides that, I would probably give it maybe a seven. It's not the best macaroni and cheese, but it's not the worst one I got. So that's good. Now we're gonna try the fried chicken that it came with. It came with two pieces. So this is what this piece looks like. Rip it apart. This is what the inside looks like. Mm -hmm. Pretty crunchy. Um, the meat is good. I like it. I think it will need a little bit more seasoning. Um, but overall, I would give this whole meal itself maybe a seven. Could be better. But it's not the worst thing and just right here together cost me about 
overall, or if you round it up, twenty dollars. And this cost me twenty dollars, so I would give it maybe a seven out of ten. But so right here, my mom ordered the shrimp and grits. She said she gave it an eight out of ten. She really loved the flavor of it. She said it was kind of spicy, but she can handle spice. I can't handle spice, and I really don't like seafood, so that's why she tried it for us. But she gave it an eight out of ten, and this cost her around. $15 and she also got some mac and cheese on the side but it's the same mac and cheese I had and that was also around um around like seven dollars so you can do the math so um I would say overall it was worth it the food was good I would probably add a little bit more seasoning but besides that it, it was good I we enjoyed it she also enjoyed the shrimp and grits so I'm gonna give it back to her so she can enjoy it some more all right guys that includes this video for today like i said this was the jamaica festival or jamaica avenue day depending on who you are and what you like to call it but overall i would give the vibe the experience a 9 out of 10 if you really do not like walking um i probably wouldn't suggest this because you're kind of just walking back and forth seeing what you like seeing what kind of food they have what kind of clothes accessories Every, basically everything so if you really do not like walking I would not suggest doing this but if you you know you do like walking you like kind of fairs and festivals this is totally maybe the thing for you overall like I said I would give it a 9 out of 10 because I did like the music that they were playing the food there the accessories there because I think this year around there was definitely more um more materialized things instead of food like i know like a few years back it was more food than it was like any clothing or any like beads anything like that but this year it was definitely it was definitely more food but it was more like accessories more people selling like action figures and beads and clothes and even promoting some of their businesses whether it was like oils or you know hair different things like that so i definitely think that as the year has progressed there is going to be more things that isn't just food so more options which i do like it gives you kind of a little bit more open options that you want like i said um today was august 5th so they do it every the first saturday of august so next year i don't know what day the first august is of this first saturday of august but check your calendars because most likely it will be the first saturday of august um i hope you enjoyed my video this is julia signing out with julia reviews if you have any other places or any other foods that you would like me to review you let me know in the comments down below but if not i will see you next friday with a brand new video i love you and see you later